Hello guys, welcome back for another video. Today I'll be summarizing everything that has happened in the game before the Dark Energy update. So if you don't want to be spoiled, I would click off the video. This video was inspired off of Myriad's lore video, which is honestly better if you want to see more in-depth lore, and it's honestly entertaining, to me at least. But what is Abiotic Factor? Abiotic Factor is a game where you and five other people are trapped in an underground facility and you have to face off against dangerous anomalies, many different antiverses, and a religious militant group called the Order. At the beginning of the game, you start off as a scientist being transported to the Gate Cascade Research Facility by Lance, a security officer. And after being dropped off, you head to a shack where you have to be led in by Jackson, another security officer, who gives you a Gate Pal, which allows you to hold valuable information that you could gather while in the game. Then, you head downstairs where you meet Bruce, another security officer, who walks you through the ECP, but while he's doing that, his radio has some weird interference. And then it... Okay, now I know that was a lot. I I'm getting some weird interference on my radio. I'm gonna leave you to the whiteboard down there. You might need... After plugging in the heater, a door opens and you are led into an elevator, bringing you to the residence area. But due to heavy security, the elevator gets redirected to the office sector, where the game actually starts. Getting off of the elevator, you meet Dr. Thule, who tells you to help out Jaeger who had been locked out of the cafeteria, but you need to crawl through the vents to get to the other side because the doors are locked. And when you make it to the other side of the cafeteria, Jaeger tells you that a pest broke the power system and you need to fix it. Oh! After killing the peccary, he went into the plaza, where this guy tells us that he has no clue what's going on, but he suggests going to manufacturing and head for the main tunnel. But while you're going there, you find that it's closed shut, and we have to get a power cell from level 3 to power the forklift to lift the door. You take a maintenance lift up to level 3, but the door is locked, so you have to go through the far garden to get to the other side. After leaving the far garden, you are teleported to the other side of level 3, and you make your way to Dr. Alice Mayfield who tells you to destroy the security bots for their CPUs to make a hacker that could get us into Silo 3. After making the hacker, you open the door to Silo 3 and enter Flat Hill, a place where composers are mostly seen. Leaving Flat Hill, you go back to the forklift to open the door and get into manufacturing. Making your way through manufacturing, you meet the blacksmith, who tells you to go to the surface tunnel, but we need to craft hacker to get through. After getting the materials and crafting the hacker, you open the door and head straight to the surface tunnel, just to find out it was already collapsed. Going to the processing plant, you meet Frake, who created a plan to blow up the synchrotron to open a way to the Cascade Laboratories, but we need parts from the blacksmith to fix the pumps. So after creating a tram station key and opening the doors, you enter a portal to the train, where you need to grab silver scrap and grease to trade it with the blacksmith to make the parts to fix the pumps. After fixing the pumps and creating a mini black hole with the synchrotron, you go into the Cascade Laboratories where you find Abe and Janet again, but they basically tell you to craft another hacker so we can get into the containment block. Getting into the containment block, we meet Dr. Khan, who was locked behind a containment door, so we need to reset the system in the control center to open the cell, but we have to go through a zombie infested furniture store and get four Layak essences just to get in the control center. After resetting the system, we have to kill a Terax to get its Icor to power a portal system for the Myco fields, where you need to get Antiverse Gel to make Anti-Thermite to burn the webbing on the vacuum chamber. After waiting an eternity for the vacuum chamber to open, you get into the security sector to reach the surface elevator. After the surface elevator broke, you go through the security checkpoints to head to the hydro plant sector, where you meet Jonas, and he tells us that the place is overrun with soldiers, but there are still survivors in the electrical station. After you made your way into the electrical station, you find Eleanor and Isaiah, who tell you that you need to get to the reactors through the spillway. And after turning on the spillway flow control, you head down to the storage area and hop in a pipe that takes you to reactors. Thank you guys for watching my video. It, it took a while for me to gather up all these clips, you know, edit them. But uh, I'm happy that it came out on time. Like, 
God help me with that, man. And I'm, I'm just happy, you know? I made another video that I'm proud of making. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And, you know, just thank you for watching. Have a blessed day, guys.